<laughs> that makes me mad, and I haven't even watched that show. <laughs> Orange girl bad. Let's talk about Monster Hunter. I'd rather not. Let's talk about Dark Souls. That's for another video. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Holy shit, you were re recording this entire time, of weren't you? Of course I was. Don't worry. You're a fucking... I, I won't put in all the awful things we said. You're of joking, course. but we did. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you're right. <laughs> It's funny because we didn't know. <laughs> I, mean, I was going to turn it on just when we got to this screen. But here we are. All right. So uh, I'm, I think I'll upload this one first. But we're going to do a tearless video of all the monsters in Monster Hunter Rise that are currently there. So as you can see, we got a tier list set up. There's no bias at all. Um, and the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to temporarily move all the apexes because this is alphabeticalized. And I want to talk about the Apexes probably last because they are, you talk about how they are in relation to everyone else. So, yeah. Um, okay. All right, John. Let's get right into it. Where where Akno Sam going? Uh, I mean, he's one of the starter ones. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of like, like the more. fight. It, the fight itself is kind of like. Now, of course, I, I'm thinking in terms of mechanics when it's going to obviously always be about Stanky Maymay. So as far as Stanky Maymay goes, he's kind of B tier. I would say B or C just because, like, I barely remember any time I fought him. He's not very, like, he doesn't stick out for me. Yeah. He's a big old bird well, yeah, he's... in school, but that's about it. Of the new guys, I think he's the least memorable. And I feel like he kind of had an uphill battle anyway because he's... He's like a bird wyvern, and we got a lot of yeah. those. A bird wyvern, B literally just the Yen Kutku, but with some extra fixins. Yeah, and I feel like like he does the face stab. He's got some cool stuff. I like the. I think it was real creative to get like the the demon origins, but I'd say I'd say around C. No, that's fair enough. Keep it. I, I was operating on Stanky May Maze. I was going to say C, maybe even D. He does have really cool equipment, though. Yeah. The thing is, if you could put the helmet down on his on his helmet, he'd go with the B, but you can't, so C. Yeah, definitely. Also, his gear gets out-leveled super fast, even in high rank. Yeah. His sword is so bad. I really like his... Yeah, I, his long sword is really cool, but I'm pretty sure they're, none of them are very good. Although, I believe his dual blades are good. Uh, I've never got too far with his dual blades. They're twin guns for some reason, which is cool. I do like the idea of them, though. <laughs> the the appearance. But, hey, that is what um, layered armor is for. Yeah. <laughs> but just put, put that helmet down right up to B. That's all you gotta do, buddy. I'm rooting for you. All right. Watch they save that for the G rank. Yeah. Probably. All right, where, where Muddy... Muddy Noodle go. Uh, Poop Dragon. I think he's a bit high. I think he's pretty high because I think he's cool. I want to say I want to say A or B. I like him. Yeah, I mean the fight's <laughs> fun. It's just the mud looks like poop. <laughs> yeah, so do you. He goes in A. <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> fair point. We're all smelly, so you know, fair enough. <laughs> I just like I like fighting him. He's fun. His gear is so cool. It's so cool. Like each one is just <laughs> rad. <laughs> and I do love Monster Hunter's thing where it's like, ah, oh, yes, the ancient hermit of the mud, this Chinese dragon. What's his armor look like? Future mecha gear. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> ancient Kimura smithing techniques. Don't ask. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we've seen most of the bug armor. His tail is like, they were like, oh, we, we didn't make many bugs. Just stick a bug on the other guy. <laughs> Just stick a big old rock on his tail. <laughs> well, that happens when he reaches for it. And I liked, it's, he is, does have the similar thing of Baroth, where he's got this like really serious and cool design, but then half of his animations are him just like chilling in mud. 
Yeah. And like making a big mud ball and just hitting you with it. So it's just goofy enough. Yeah. All right. And Joe Naff. And he Joe is cool, but nothing really going for him. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say he's probably like B, maybe C tier. B's, I think B is good because he he gets yeah. by on sheer strength alone. But other than that, there's nothing really to him. He, he's cheats because he's a T Rex, and T Rexes are just inherently really cool. But also, he's just a T Rex. He's just a T Rex. A fire breathing T Rex. It's like you're not Our creative. We already got a, we had a cooler T Rex before him. We had a cooler fire breathing, not T Rex, but close to a T Rex. But he's still a T-Rex, so it's like, damn it. He's appealing to me. He's got I thought he was a T-Rex. Appealing. <laughs> you do got the big old schnoz. He, he, be, he sniff. I do know that if you just catch him chilling, he'll just rub his nose on things. <laughs> oh, he scents right. like a cat. That's adorable. Yeah. He sticks out his big schnoz and just rubs it all over. That's <laughs> disgusting. And I do like that one of his... He's got like a fire breath, but then he also can just do a fire sneeze. I want him to just... <laughs> I want him to get a deviant or subspecies where he's just sick and in the cold and he just sneezes <laughs> on you. He starts he getting... Does a bad, he just cold. has a bad cold. He gets uh, he gets brachidios' slime that just comes out of his nose. Yeah, that'd be great. So he's ripping off all awesome. the brute reverence. <laughs> Just every last one. Where does Bear go? S. <laughs> is he is he higher up there? I want to say he's definitely up near the top because okay. everybody likes. What? what? Why are we doing this? He's a big old happy bear. <laughs> big old he's a big. He's a big old badger. Bear. Uh, you're you're gonna have to put him in A tier, man. Yeah, okay. Just the dabbing bear. Well, the true Let's dabbing bear, but he 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 trains to become the dabbing bear. Well, yeah. We need I'm more saying, trash class. monsters. Does that mean Apex has to go in S because he is the actual dabbing bear? We'll get to them, but but you're you're making a good you're making a good case for him. Uh, I will say he kicks my ass more in Rise than I think he probably that I've ever expected, because he's just a few moves that he has that I that always take me off guard. Like, I think he carded me in the demo more than Mizutsune. <laughs> it's because I'm like, oh, okay, I can hit him. And then he just did his charge move. And I'd be like, ow. I like his goofy cool. grab. Yeah, yeah, he can steal your honey. Yeah, you guys are, you guys convinced me. He's up there. All right. Barry off. I, I have no opinions because I, I think he's boring. I think Barry uh, off is rad. I mean, there's a letter on the list. That matches his letter. I I would say B. He's pretty good. Okay. He's all right. I've got like, so much bias for him though, and granted, part I really like some of the new moves he has, like the big jump up move. I think it's rad. Oh yeah, that, that's right. The weird. Do you think they stole that from Samacanth? No, the arcs too. The arcs too sharp. No, because uh, yeah, that, that's something that I think he had in Iceborne and they brought over to here and i think it's cool uh and i've got a lot of bias for him because i really liked him in try and he was really hard in try but if you guys are all saying b i guess i can't out outvote you i i just don't have enough opinions on him i think he's all right it's just the like nargakuga doesn't require having his arms broken just to you guys also See fought him different. after you fought Tiger X and Nargakuga, while I fought him. The I fought him first. Yeah. So I got the pseudo Wyvern experience backwards. All we right. Already know what's gonna happen next. All right. Put him in. Put him in his rightful place. Nice to. No, no, that's doing. That's that's cutting him short. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the highest tier. Nah. -uh. <laughs> All right, convince convince me to put him up one more. He roll in mud. <laughs> he do roll in mud though. Huh. The idea that he he's just a big old bulldozer dinosaur, and then he just starts walk away and just starts rolling in the mud. He did shake his ass at me. He did. Put that in the thumbnail. <laughs>
He did shake his booty real good. <laughs> All right. He knew you were. All right. We knew we knew this tier list wasn't going to be pure for long. Also, hard mode. We're not adding any more tiers. I'm going to add one more tier. Okay. And you'll see because I was going to put it. You'll see what I mean. Okay. <laughs> I'm right. glad for spoiling it. The Squarios. A. I will say the Squarios is better <laughs> when. When a Gravios is present, and since there's no Gravios, it is a little weird. Yeah, it's a, it's a little off. I would I would say like, yeah, but he's, as of right now, he's probably either B or C. Like yeah, his but, fight's way too easy. Yeah, but he's rocky. But they, I'd say B. They did improve him a lot to be like Gravios. Yeah, but he's like rocky. Don't try and pull in my my dogarono. <laughs> I don't think that's that's what they were going for, but. Fair point. No low blows. He is, he you is can't Mount defeat Rushmore. Me. He is Mount Rushmore, I, I, and Mount Rushmore uh, has called Mount Rushmore, so he's in B. There you go. Okay. It's backed up by science, I think. Yeah, that is science. All right. So of other, the other B boy. I like how I didn't even say B for Viserios. <laughs> <laughs> Where did this uh, I guy? don't know. Like, I really like Basil, but that's only because he's like really. Easy. He's really satisfying like, to hit in the head. And well, he's yeah. got a big head. And he falls over and lets you hit him in the head a lot. Like I've, I've never fought him in Worlds, so I don't know what he was like then. If we put him in B tier, we're, they're going to notice a pattern, so we can't do that. we gotta, we got to commit. It's either A or C. No but middle ground. Have, and we have Anjanath in B. No, but then they're going to notice patterns. I'll say that he's also he's been pretty dramatically improved from from world in my opinion. I don't yeah. know. I just had a really easy time figuring him out, and I just like I don't know if it's because I'm at range and like all of his actual damage is in his body moves instead of throwing giant explosive pine cones at people, like. Jury's out for me, man. Well, here let's let's do this. What if Seregios was in the game? What tier would he be at? D. What? Yes. <laughs> I'm also biased. I like Seregios better. Oh no, I meant what would where would Seregios be? Oh, Seregios. Yeah. S. Yeah. S. S. Okay, I was gonna say put yeah. him one below Seregios. Okay. That's so he's A. So A. <laughs> I'm he's, glad we're using science and math. He's he's a Seregios <laughs> with just neck fat. <laughs> he's got a goiter. And he's seething. He's a Seregios that got fat. Thyroid cancer. <laughs> they wanted they said we need to appeal to Westerners. And they, they saw a drawing of Seregios and they were like, I got it. Uh oh. They'll relate to him. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, where this monkey. This monkey is a good monkey. monkey. He's this, a pretty good monkey. This is a good yeah. monkey. Yeah. Yes. I just like yes, how I he moved on us when we first saw him. Moving. He hit the whoa. He hit... <laughs> this monkey hits the whip. He hits the nene. He sh moves. He hits the whoa. He's got a fruit. Just... Plus, I love that his his attack. He's one of the few monsters that his attacks affect him as well. Oh, yeah, how they can knock him down and throw him back at him. Or he actually, like, blinds himself with his own stuff. Well, he covers his eyes to stop that. Yeah. And he covers I I'd say the only way he could be full of more shenanigans if, it, if him and Kongalala teamed up. I want him and Malfestio to team up. Where it's just every status possible. Oh, God. And considering how they designed Samana Camp, you might want to throw that in, too. <laughs> What completely sold me was when Connor pointed out that when he does the the poison slam, he covers his nose because it's yeah. stinky. Because <laughs> it smells bad. <laughs> but he eats it anyway, I guess. But I guess doing that is stinky. It smells bad, but tasty. But speaking of poison, this boy's up there. A good boy. Uh... I definitely want to say SRA because I just like Camellios. 
Oh, just is that Camellios? Yes. It is. Yeah, he he funny S. Okay, I'm gonna say this is the reason he's an S, and then you put up the picture that you took for, <laughs> uh, for the game. I'll scroll through a few of them because he's he's just a good boy. <laughs> he's a big old goofball. It's just the fact that any shot of him has both of his eyes in different directions, and he's got a huge smile. Yeah. He's the prankster Elder Dragon. He really is. My only disappointment with him and Rise is that he doesn't have a turf war where he actually shows that he's genuinely like a tough boy. Because he is supposed to be a does tough have... boy. Does he have any turf wars? Not a one. It's weird. That is weird. I want to just like grab Anjanath by the legs and just throw him with his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. I'm going to plug my laptop in. Okay. He licks Anjanath's nose. <laughs> if anything, I'd say the only thing that throws me off about him is that him, um, Teostra, and Dra Ice Dragon, whose name I'm forgetting. Kishala. Yes. It's weird that they kind of made those three like a triangle, but they ha you have to beat one to beat the other. It's because they were all introduced in the same game, and so they were all kind of triangulating it's just like the only thing that throws me off about him although it's also weird is that there's is that kashala has a variant in rusted uh teostra has a a girl in lunastra but then camellius doesn't have anything or maybe I, he does yeah. we just haven't seen it you know of course we haven't it's seen probably it. there the entire time and you never see <laughs> anytime it anytime the hitboxes are bad it. it's just the camellius variant shut up it's been there since the beginning <laughs> How Every do you... time you got hit by a hitbox, that was the other Camellios. How do you think freaking uh, Shrouded Nursilla swings around, idiot? <laughs> Camellios is a good boy. Uh, yes, Shrouded Nursilla, the, the one that hasn't been in game since... I know, it's not fair. It hasn't That's been in fair. a game since 2013. It hasn't been in a game since 1912. All right, so... I don't know, guys. Where yeah, should we put him? Just, just put him up there. There we go. I was like, when you're fighting him on your own, at least, you learn to respect the guy. Yeah. Well, what I what I learned from fighting him a lot is that basically the whole thing is stay like right in front of his face. Because a lot of his moves have blind spots there, except for his really like basic ones. But if you're like too far away, he's he's getting you. And if you're like right behind him, he'll rocket punch you real hard. He's like designed real good to make you play good. Okay, I think one of my favorite moments fighting him was when his takeoff for the ambush killed me. <laughs> I actually managed to weasel my way in between the beam and his face yeah. when he does the wing beam. And I'm just like, oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's me. Like that's also what I mean, where it's like there's that little blind spot right there, which is where you want to be. But it's also the scariest place to be because you're right in front of him. I still have yet to see his actual like finisher for mounting. Um, it's he like flies up and then dives down. It's not the full around the world, but he like does his like hover move. And yeah, he's, I mean, he would be like top tier no matter what he shows up in. He's, he's, mwah. There's not enough good things to say about him. <laughs> Where's Trigoblos? A. A, really? Yeah. Because he's boring. <laughs> Why would that make him A? Because he's cool. <laughs> If anything, I almost want to knock him down to B just because he was in the movie. <laughs> no, that was, Bla that was the Black Diablos. That wasn't Fair him. That was, that was his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> that was his wife. <laughs> he his didn't go see the movie despite her being in it. <laughs> okay, that might have to put him in A then. Just because he didn't <laughs> see the movie. <laughs> he didn't go see the movie because he... his wife was like, let's go, let's go see it. And he was like, ah... Uh... This tier list sucked. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
<laughs> so the, there's something about us that we have yet to put anything in the D tier. We've yet to be mad at anything. All right, let's be real harsh on the next guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Tool usage, I'm not going to even remotely diss at all. Okay, I, I next, like one. <laughs> next one. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, fair and honest. Oh, you're a bitch. <laughs> yeah, fair and honest. Fair <laughs> and honest. Yeah, just keep it up. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> Shut up. There's going to be pay- someone who's red in the face pissed off that Agnesam is in C. <laughs> I would say out of the Raptors, Roggy is probably my favorite. Yeah, I, he's got such a good yeah, face. Yeah, you, you people be sleeping on Baggy. Baggy's cool. The only thing is that in this game, they made him weaker for some reason. And I, say, I, I it's really the like... Fact that, Go ahead. It's the fact that his armor is a cowboy outfit that makes him just a little bit above Baggy. That makes Roggy top tier, but... Baggy, they made him a little bit weaker. Uh, while as previously, he would be like pretty big. And I, I want to see in G rank because in G rank, Great Baggy was a threat. He would move. So they just took all of his animations to double the speed. It was great. They should put Gendrome in this. <laughs> that would be the D tier. I, I think most of the drones would be a D tier. Yeah, a the talent. drones are. What are you just, talking about? Just boring. Like. Good. As far Would as Gendrum like... goes, only really the Sword and Shield is that good. I, I genuinely can't remember what the other one is called. <laughs> There's Velocidrome and Iodrome. Oh, Velocidrome is the worst one. I like Velocidrome's colors, at least. Velocidrome actually doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. He, originally, he wouldn't even get enraged. And he only had two carves. I didn't even know he could. He, just, he was just a big, small monster. Like, he's even more nothing than Great Jaggy because Great Jaggy hey. has a funny name. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you shut your mouth. All right, let's Where, get to Izuchi. I think uh, Izuchi was pretty okay. I mean, he's not anything to write home about. I'd say either A or B. I'd say, I'd say he's probably a good spot for him. He's a good boy. He got me to HR 100. <laughs> <laughs> because I needed his tail for the Magnum Allo set. Yeah, you need him for a lot more things than I ever expect. It is kind of weird. He's a good boy. He's not as good as these ones, but he's a good boy. He's another one that's kind of a goofball. Where'd the poop fish? <laughs> poop fish going... D. See down in he's D. Not, stinky. He's not D. Yeah. He's not D. He's is he C. Yeah, he's C. He's C. His armor does at least. He would be here, but his armor was like yoink. Yeah. It really cool. Yeah. Fair it's enough. That was never really memorable for me. He's. Even like, I think his, we, I his, him... his weapons are just reskins of the bone. Yeah. Well, Ange- Anjanath has some of that too. Yeah. This fight was also just like a one and done. I never really felt the need to fight him again. He's better Cephalodrome, which is the lowest bar in human history, but he did make it. <laughs> I forgot about Cephalodrome. <laughs> Everybody forgets about Cephalodrome. The bar was on the floor and he stepped over it. No, the <laughs> bar was under the sand. <laughs> and he swam through the mud the bar over on, it. They Isn't forgot to bring out the bar. Mud yeah, yeah. Yes. His design is just Levisioth, which is so weird. <laughs> I still don't get why they did that for him and Boner again. And also why his name is super different. Yeah, well, it's because they they didn't want you to realize that they were just the same thing. But anybody who's played the game for more than five minutes could tell. I did get really mad when I heard a few people that started with World refer to his refer to Levisioth as his subspecies. I got mad hearing that. <laughs> You're autistic. So you shut your mouth. Well, to be fair, most people who started with World are autistic. <laughs> Am I gonna have to yeah, cut I think that it's out? the opposite. They're just normies. Uh. <laughs> just 
<laughs> Casuals. Oh no. Let's move on before before we get canceled. Where the penis? S. 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 Because penis ends with it. He did make the Dark Souls players leave, so fair enough. Put, <laughs> yeah. put it. Can you put in like a five second clip of that? <laughs> you got it. You got it, homie. Okay, like put in a clip of him sad. <laughs> Garbage. I'll put in. I'll put in like the frame that he dies. Just his eyes. <laughs> you think they're ever gonna bring back the other one? Giganox. I wish. I hope so. I like He's Giggy. funny. Giganox more like actually really cool. Bring him back, Capcom. I want, I want a turf war between Kezu and Giganox, where where Kezu shoves his head in Giganox's mouth. I want their turf war to be just them taking turns swallowing each other. Or I want them to have a bond attack. <laughs> That'd be I fun. Want, that's what I wanted when Devil Joe and Rajang were brought together, is I wanted that like, people to think that they would fight, but no, they just team up. <laughs> I wanted the reveal to be that they're friends. <laughs> just two rage beasts teaming up. <laughs> like you expect them to Angry. fight and they both look at you. An angry it's... pickle on legs. They high five. <laughs> or one I'd love to see that. Cause... One high fives, the other high twos. Ugh. All right, good penis. All right, so this one. All right, this one. All right. All right. There you okay. Go. There you go. I, I actually like him. He's okay, but... They put him in the desert. The desert's where Great Jaggy lives. So, <laughs> there is the Jaggy and Jaggia. But there's no Great Jaggy, which makes me frown like you would not believe. If I did <laughs> you frown until face. your face turned brown. <laughs> Don't say that. I'll get canceled. <laughs> like... It's kind of weird that they did that with like several small monsters. They brought back the little guys, but haven't yeah. brought back the big versions yet. Hopefully we'll be able to rectify that when we do materials for the G-Rank version. Oh boy. Hopefully. I want to see G-Rank Gravios. Yeah. Just, just beaming in a big circle everywhere. He flies up at you by shooting the beam at the ground like Godzilla. If I saw Gravios fly, I'd be scared. <laughs> he does have, have wings. wings. He uses them to dig. Uh, but yeah, Kulu, Kulu has some new tricks from World, which make him at least much better. Uh, his design is solid. I feel like it's it's weird that it's right after they got another feathered raptor, uh, but whatever. I like that he's a... But that's literally the only thing he has going for him. It's what? The fact that he's kind of a goof. He is he's I like silly. to like, like play with a rock. If they I had done really... more with a rock mechanic... I really like how vacant his eyes are. <laughs> he does just have that blank stare, and it's it's like a dodo, which is fun. No, that's literally what his head is. Yeah. I'll probably like him more in stories, because that'll be a good situation. Just watch him just be a goof. Hopefully they'll goofers. expand on him some more. All right. Kushlader! I feel like they That's made him a lot a. better. I'd say A. Uh, yeah, he's he's good. He's a he's a fun guy. That vacuum move that he does and then he explodes everywhere is sick. It's it's his his, his dog armor is really good his, too. The Anubis, oh, <laughs> the Anubis. oh it's so good. This was like a their weapon design tier list. He'd be he'd be Valstrax tier. Yeah. I think my his dual blades are probably some of my favorite weapons. Yeah. He he's one of those things where he's been an annoying fight since he's been introduced, and they finally fixed one of the first flagship monsters of the series. <laughs> so that's like a big accomplishment. That makes him that, that makes me happy. Uh, where Lagombi? Uh, C. B or C. Yeah, I'm gonna say a bit yeah. 
going to say a bit lower just because he appears a lot. And I don't know. I've, I always <laughs> thought he could be a little bit better. Like, well, he's for sure could always be a bit better. I like, like, I, if we're being, like, actually legitimately critical, I think he's more of a C than anything. If they brought back his deviant, I'd probably put him at B. <laughs> yeah, just get rid of regular Lagombe. <laughs> I always just thought of him as filler. Even his armor is kind of nothing. He feels kind of fillery. Which is weird, because he is a pretty unique design, but I don't know. I think the other thing that's weird is that he was the only of the bears that was in four. Oh yeah, that is weird. He does kind of get overshadowed by Zeros, though. Yeah. And Volvi. Yeah, that's the other thing is and... that Volvidon is my favorite, and I feel like he always gets overshadowed, and I part put the blame on Lagombi. Yeah. So yeah. He's a big evil bunny. He's, he's, he's solid. It, it's just like, it feels like he's got favoritism. And that makes me not like him, despite the fact that I'm usually okay with that. Yeah. All right, where where Maggie boy? Uh, you got to put him in S. Come you on now. Yeah, he's pretty yeah, good. After, say, all yeah. We've, all, after all we've seen, he's... Yeah, oh, he's you know what? Yeah, yeah, that final boss, okay, that question. puts him in S. How much are we allowed to say spoilers? Uh, well, we're going to talk about All Mother, so... Because I think you all know exactly what we're thinking yeah. about. <laughs> the homie came in clutch. That that is just like oh, that's that's one of my favorite moments in in the whole series. Just because I've always wanted to like fight alongside a monster, and the fact that he just leaves right afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> he does the whole little my job here is done. But he actually does something this time. It's quite literally just bursts into hunt, deals massive damage, refuses to elaborate, leaves. So good. Applies blast. <laughs> Tom boys are better. Milfs are lame. Plus, I like that his blast is called Hellfire. Yeah, and he's got his own special status. That can actually... Also is you go. Isn't he like one of the few monsters to use that skeleton besides Zenogre? I'm the thing is I'm actually not sure what his skeleton is because it, it might actually use some of Gore's animations. I really? want to say he might actually just be a new skeleton entirely. Well, he's no, either he's either he's the definitely fanged, based off Zenogre. He's either the fanged or the the Megala skeleton. He might like use kind of. It could just be. Both. It could just be that he's he's interfaced with. Uh, Magala and is a child of the Fanged Wyvern set. He is a Fanged Wyvern, so he's another one you gotta respect when fighting him. Yeah, I I wasn't sold on his design until he enraged and like all the back spikes came up, and then I was like, okay, no, this is awesome. Yeah, just that little thing sold him on me, which is funny. Also, his armor is really solid. Yeah, all his yeah. weapons are are cool looking. Just evil wood samurai. Demon. Yeah. And if you're gonna make a game based Japanesey, you might as well make it Ghost Samurai. Yeah, it's a good combo. All right, and uh, he is Mizu's probably A or B. Should I? I want to say A or definitely around the A. What are you gonna say, Connor? I'm gonna abstain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna abstain your pants more like I'll put him not in like a, Mizu. Be, partially because I know something else with him is going to be going up a tier uh, but yeah Mizu's always great everybody love Mizu I feel he's like, always been one of my favorites I feel like Mizu is like just you see it and you're just happy it's just pretty just a pretty cool thing Plus, he does bring the unique bubble mechanic. Got the bubbles. He's got the bubbles. He's got he's got the best turf war in the game with his an ogre. Which is great. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> and let me also move this one so that we can talk about. This. Like, let's move these ones so we can talk about them at the end. <laughs> Probably should put them in because they decided to lead it with all. Wait, why wasn't that at the beginning? Whatever. Uh, Nargakuga. Nargakuga, I like a lot more than I thought. 
Well, really? B. I'd say he's a bit. I mean, we're, remember when we were like, "There's too many Bs," <laughs> and now there's too many A's. You want to try that again? <laughs> I, I I enjoy fighting Narga. I'd say probably A. Yeah, my only thing is that I always end up hitting his arms with my with the glaive. It's like clonk. Uh, it's like he blonking on those, and then he hits me, and I get mad. Hey, how do you farming him? Uh, how do you bounce off? Of... Oh, because you're not using a. a big yeah, not weapon. all of us are using the big heavy weapon. In GU, I wouldn't because there was a thing where Glaive wouldn't bounce, but now I have to bounce I... again. I'm sorry that I've never bounced off <laughs> monster since all my time playing the game. What a silly bean. To be fair, you also miss half your attacks. <laughs> yeah, and how many of your hits deal triple damage? Depends on the weapon I'm using. Just triple digits all day. <laughs> we need triple digits where you can just fill them up full little holes. <laughs> I'm going to put him A just because he's got some of the sickest armors and armor and weapon in the series. I do like the ninja stuff. I like him for his fight. I could not care less about his armor and gear. And his fight's good. And his design <laughs> is good. And he's gonna... And he's just the weebiest. So he deserves to be up there. Pooh, pooh. B. Oh, come on. You can't be that mean to the world handler. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I've, je I've looked for that mod and I can't find it. Uh, Wait, is there an actual mod that? No, it's that not a mod. Game? It's just like an in joke. Oh, okay. Like a lot of, a lot of people are like, you know what? We could just put an anthro pukey pukey in there, and it would be a deliberate improvement. Yeah, but pukey pukey is funny. He is pretty funny. It, it's gross. basically uh, the small monster version of Camellios. It is funny that it's just we got the two chameleons together. They don't have a turf war. Well, I mean, that wouldn't be a turf war. That would just be just pooky pooky disintegrating. <laughs> Fair enough. I feel like he's he's his ideas weren't fully fleshed out when they made him. His, I don't think his head works as well with his body. Yeah. Uh, but his head is his head is great. Like that's that's what makes him. He's got such a fun head. Yeah, I like him. What are we thinking, B or C? Um, C? All right. We, we can't. B is illegal, I guess. <laughs> All right, where are the MILF going? Where are the real MILF? B. Uh, <laughs> either S or A. I, I would say A more. Maybe B. But like... I like how unique she is compared to... A lot of different bugs. She's got like a lot of things on to her. Well, for one, I think she does have like her own unique skeleton, which she uses the Nursilla one, but she uses a lot of unique things with it, especially with the neck. The neck, the babies. Fun fact: she's you know weaponized the... for children. She does weaponize her children. You know that move where she shoots one of the babies out, and then the then like there's a string and it pulls her to it. Yes. You can attack <laughs> the string, and that'll knock her over. Really? Yeah. She's got a lot of like little things to her. Yeah. I just don't think I'm as big a fan of her design as I probably should have been. I know your your forever love of Nursilla. Yeah. And especially like Celtis and Celtis Queen and Atalka. Mm hmm I guess the bugs do have a really high standard. Yeah. I think this. I think she does a good job, though. You can tell they tried a lot with it. Yeah, it's a really creative fight, especially since it's like the first bug monster to use fire. Yeah, it's the only bug monster to use fire. And it, that's very much something that you don't really think about because you you always associate like bugs with like being weak to fire. Because they are in real life. Yeah. Well, granted, most things are weak to fire, but bugs are like especially weak to fire. Yeah. I'll still never forget the small child firing squad. Yeah, that moves good. That moves <laughs> real good. I've only ever seen her do it once, though. 
Um, sometimes she does like the where they all like web. I guess that is one of the rarer ones. All right, Raithalos. Mm. Hard to argue with one of the OGs. I really like his new fight. He, he does have a lot of staying power in the fact that they changed him a bit. Is particularly helpful. Like, I would say A or B. I'd say A is a pretty good spot for him. I suck against him. <laughs> he's like he's he, too fast for you. Despite the fact that he's not like as frustrating, he's still pretty tough. Like he can he'll scoop you up from all kinds of angles. Listen, so long as he doesn't do the thing where he skis on the fucking walls. He's at A, but if he still does that, then he's got to be B. He skis on the walls? Like, back in 4, he used to just, like, he would go towards a wall, but because it wasn't directly at the wall, the game wouldn't pick up, so he would just right around the wall and then still keep flying. (laughs) I've got that clip of Astalos doing something like that. (laughs) I remember that. He's kind of designed that that won't happen as much. I guess I guess he's joining the A party. All right, Rathian, that's not that's like a B, right? Yeah, that's a B's a yeah, good that's she's not as impressive as Rathlos's changes. She barely changed at all. She's, she's... I feel like I it's a bit early to bring up, but I feel like her apex does a bit of a better job. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're Royal Shmudroff. We're Banana Boy. Uh, the funny SpongeBob. He's not great, Jaggy. <laughs> no, he's better than not great, Jaggy. But I can. No, I, he's he's pretty bad. Uh, I'd I'd put him in. I'd probably put him in C. Um, I'd say at least C. <laughs> he's not as bad as the Dodo. <laughs> yeah, but the Ditto's funny. <laughs> the Ditto. Yeah. I, I've got a lot of nostalgia for Mr. Ludroth. I'll say he's he's probably the weirdest one to bring back. I would say that they definitely could have had different choices for that, but I don't know. I like I like Big Banana Boy. And I like I really like his new move where he gets on his hind legs and just like tackles you basically. Did you remember that? To be fair, I've only hunted him once. I've fought him a decent number of times. In fact, actually, Chris, the dual blade user, should probably be hunting him a lot because he gives uh, dash extract. Probably should. That's what everybody knows him as. Is he's the he's the one that the dual blades suck up. They just go up and <laughs> on his sponge. Well, to be fair, if I ever want more stamina, I just bring my cat. Oh, she's got the other thing that boosts your stamina. Yeah. Yes. Fair enough. All right, now the other Leviathan. We're so mm, close, man. I kind of want to say stinky. B or C. Like, I'd say C. I really like it, but the face bothers me. Yeah. Yeah, it's very yeah. ugly. The thing is, the face is supposed to bother me, but it still bothers me. Maybe C, then? Yeah, let's give it a C. We've been, we've been I like a lot nice of the mechanics. I really like, yeah, some of the, 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 the going around you sleep and a lot of the weapons. Like she has more statuses than any other monster. <laughs> the only, she can't, well, she can't poison you and she can't uh, paralyze you, but that's it. She can do a lot of crazy things. I will say she's got the coolest charge blade in the game. Uh, which one's that one? I don't think you guys have seen it, but... It, you know, like when you do the actual, like, stick the sword in and it does the charge, like, animation. Yeah. A little Somnicanth head pops out on one end and, like, it's like that's a jump yeah. scare. That's creepy. <laughs> it's really creepy, but it's great. I like that. All right. All right. Michael Bay Mufasa. <laughs> I don't know. Bay with Mufasa. the fixes that they've added, I want to see he's either A or B. A or B seems like a good spot for him. I'm just not big on the design. I really like the and design. Also, also, he kicks my ass. He does kick my ass too, though. His head is. I his... found it a lot easier to avoid his nuke. Yeah, they made his his nuke is 
harder to avoid than in world, but it's still easier than past games. He doesn't do his nuke much as well. He does his uh, kind of G rank front nuke more. The mini one. Yeah, he he spams that sometimes. Yeah. I think this is probably the most interesting he's ever been. Um, but he does hit me a lot, and that makes me frown sometimes. So he goes and beats. Makes you frown until you turn brown. All right, Tetramamadon. Uh, right. that's gonna be an A for me. Yeah. Just like a. all the memes and just <laughs> sumo guy. He's cool and he's really sumo man. He's funny. Hitting his head is just just a good time. You just hit him on his bald spot. He's a sumo platypus. He goes no. He's a kappa. He's a big old kappa. He he's a good like kind of icon of the game. Put put a put a picture of a kappa on put a, screen. Put kappa Mikey on screen. Put a picture of all three kappas on screen. Put the three the three important ones. You know them. Yeah. And if you don't put in the one I'm expecting you to, you're gonna find a letter in your mail. Are you gonna dislike the video and report my channel? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one. <laughs> These no two we just don't have anything to say on because it's obvious. <laughs> I yeah. just really liked uh, uh, Tigrex is my favorite of all the monsters in his type. The angry. He's definitely awesome. He... You would love molten Tigrex, Connor. No, I wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed molten Tigrex. I know that I saw a lot of people that started with World really hate Tigrex. I'm not Why surprised so? considering World. Because he runs into people and they die. <laughs> but that's how it's been for the past. Yeah, but you get. 20 years. Some people don't get it. Some people don't get that he's like. that that's what makes him great. <laughs> they don't get that he's just rampantly autistic. <laughs> Because I think some people are like, We're, he just has running. He just did what other moves does he have? He just runs and screams. It's like, yes. <laughs> that's exactly that's, what he does. That's all he needs to do. Like, you literally, you've got, like, Virgin Teostra with, like, three different modes and, like, all these different mechanics. Then you've got Chad Tigrex who run and scream. <laughs> that's all you need. He reminds you of kids I knew at school. <laughs> He reminds me of all of us at school when we would just run into people and scream. With our mouths open. <laughs> Doing little bites as we run. <laughs> to do extra damage. Screaming with enough force to knock people down. Um, like, I think the only actual attack Tigrix does is, like, he whips his tail at you. He does his spin and his rock throw as well. Oh, yeah, his rock throw that's so stupid. <laughs> he just slides his arm against the ground and it just mm. throws something. It just pushes. It makes no sense. It just pushes rocks at you. I do it's hope that fine. someday we get a, an Apex Tigrex because I wanted to bring back Grimclaw's move where he just slams his hand into the ground. <laughs> it's cool. All right, we talked a lot about the guy that we said that there's no there's no need to explain it, but that's just because we love him. Yeah. Uh, All right, Toby. Not for He's an A. Hey. I really like him. I really, yeah. I think everybody likes Toby. Not me. <laughs> he's kind of stinky. <laughs> Why do you think he's stinky? I mean, he's just stinky. <laughs> I, I like his design. Yeah, well, so are you. So you should be, you should be kin brothers. Melly, he's <laughs> still like below for my favorite, like Thunder Mom. I am actually just bullshitting. I. They haven't fought him like at all. No, fair enough. <laughs> you just you just wanted to be a contrarian, huh? I'm gonna I, fart into the microphone. Like, you I better mean, use of his armor like before ty before Zenogre showed up. I do wish he had because better. I like I liked him as the kind of like the build up of Zenogre. Yeah. I do wish he had cooler armor. It's like okay. The thing is the stats on it are really good, but it looks lame. Yeah, it I like the the dog armor's got like a scarf on it, and I feel like they could have done something with that. Yeah. 
I feel like he'll similarly be something that I'll really like in stories because he looks like just a fun thing to have as like a pet. It's like running around with. That'd be good. He's big lizard zap squirrel. Now where are we straight balling? <laughs> we balling? Where are we balling, boys? Oh, should we do the? He doesn't. Funny? He doesn't have. He doesn't have like an actual position on the tier list. He just sort of bounces he around. Bounces. <laughs> he starts at Great Jaggy, but then he bounces up to Valstrex. Should we just? He just keeps bouncing around. He's like the fucking DVD screensaver. Yeah. He's just... Put him in B for B ball. He is. He is balling, but he's actually in like S. Yeah. He's in there he's solely in... because he's balling. Because he's balling. All right, so this is a the old, this is like a question of these two, isn't it? Oh yeah, it really? Yeah, is. like Zenoker's been. He's solid also forever. got some really good staying power. Like he's somehow managed to stay fresh for all of the games he's been in. How about this? He's this tier, but then his eyes glow, and then he's that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's the best edition. <laughs> Like, you know shit gets real when that happens. Like, when he first does, does that and he just looks at you like that, it's just like, oh no. He's <laughs> like, I smell a bitch. It is looking like you. He is also the definitive, I'm going to wirefall right back into another attack monster. Yes. <laughs> oh, I've done that so many times. Oh, I got hit by a slam. Don't worry. I got this. Oh, I got hit by it again. Don't worry. This time him, it'll work. Him, Narga, and Valstrax are the ones I do that the most with. I feel like they put them, they made Wirefall because they knew people would fly right back into Zenogre's other slams. <laughs> I actually have an amazing replay that I need to show you guys this weekend. Of, of, also, of hitting Zenogre. Of, uh, yeah, of Zenogre. Uh, also, doing his triple slam while mounted is one of the most satisfying yeah. things ever. I like that they kind of hide his G-rank slam because usually he has that one where he roars and charges up and slams. Uh, but that's usually G-rank only, but it's in this, but like only for like big important things like that. It's awesome. Uh, who? Okay, Monkey, who's for some reason using his world uh, icon for this. I don't know why. <laughs> Same with white. Monkey Tigrex doesn't have an outline. Where does this? Where does the salt? Monkey. Monkey S. Monkey S. Monkey S. Monkey S. Monkey S. Yes. He just wants to sleep. <laughs> We're the assholes in this situation. Yeah. He is just fueled by hate. If you wake him up, <laughs> I love. He immediately enrages if you wake him up. <laughs> He's angry. He's so angry. Also Lore wise, he is one of the first, um, like Elder Dragon killers. Yeah, he was. Is he straight at the first? He's like, mmm, horsey, num, num, num. He is the first I Elder thought... Dragon level normal. I thought that was Devil Joe. No, Brajang's older than Devil Joe. Oh, okay. He was introduced in Dose. Oh, jeez. It's weird. They introduced him at the same time as Blangonga, and Blangonga is like definitively just. Lower him. Huh. And go, go. Also, did they still have the fact that he ate, ate uh, unicorn horns back then, too? Yes, because here's something that I'm not sure if you knew about. Dose had a PvP mode, kind of. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, was, it wasn't like you'd fight each other. You would each get a monster that you would, like, buff their stats in certain ways, and then you would race to beat each other's monster. And Rage's Isn't that just food, the basis of stories? Kind of. Yeah, it kind of was. But Rajang, uh, his favorite food was Kirin horns. Oh, uh, just the horn? That's Yeah, that's what he eats. Dude, eating toenails and shit. <laughs> it's more like that's a big... That's where you get the thunder from. You know those uh, those things, that, those little crystal sugar things you get at like the zoo or whatever? On a stick? I I do not assume that it you is mean, rock candy that is pure you, ivory. He's got rock candy. He's the king boomy of Monster Hunter. Also, 
I always love the first way you introduced him to us was literally him grabbing you <laughs> and eating you across the field the me area. straight into a wall. <laughs> and then you died immediately. And I died before I touched the ground. <laughs> the G force ripped your head off. <laughs> I had to restart my character. It was a real bummer. <laughs> I would love that if a monster killed you so hard you had to make a new character. <laughs> that would be like, awful. All those hours wasted. <laughs> oh yeah, not... put a thousand hours and then Rajang ripped my noggin off. <laughs> Rajang pulled my character out of the game. Rajang reached out of the video game and pulled me into the virtual world. He and used then you all the way back to the me. first game. <laughs> Rajang reached out and slapped my Switch and turned it into a PS2. <laughs> he turned it off. <laughs> I'm like a bust. Reese just pressing the power button. He pulls the game out without saving. <laughs> corrupts your memory. <laughs> it's a good he mom. Corrupts, he corrupts your save. Yeah. All right, where's the all right the toxic relationship? Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with these two first. Yeah. Where does the simp and his ego go? Where's the simp? Uh, I want to say he's more of a B, if not a... Because he's E. Bushi. It's not even that, like... <laughs> it just... The way it looks in comparison to Narwa, he's got not much of anything. It's weird. I hey. I loved his design, and then I saw Narwa, and I thought I would like Ibushi more, but then I ended up liking Narwa a lot more. I just like how uh, Ibushi moves around and is animated better. Oh, really? they they move pretty similar, but Ibushi seems a bit more playful. Okay, I can see that. The only thing is, I hate doing the rampage quest. Yeah, if there was a way to just farm him, like fight a regular, he, I would like him a bit. More. He does have the regular kind of now. Well, kind of, yeah. kind of. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be getting like some of his rare stuff from that. I do hope that they give us a. Event quest that's just him. Also, uh, just in general, I, I like fighting him better. Okay. He's not as irritating with all the Dota 2 AoEs that he throws out. I'll put him on I. He's a good Honestly, I like Narwhal a little bit better because it. There there was like some really stanky memes where uh, Yoko Taro was like, oh, hey, here's some <laughs> ideas for Monster Hunter Rise. That's a they were weird all just, interview. Yeah, that, all of just the. Stupidest fucking ideas. Well, who was doing the interview? Yokotaro. That should explain everything. He said that at He's one. Not stupid though. He's silly. I think no. he was genuinely memeing on his own writing style. Of course, oh, that he was. explains a lot. Have you seen his games? Have you heard Have the you interview? Seen... Have you seen him? <laughs> no, I've no, only I've seen his seen Magic him. Moon yeah. Man costume. <laughs> it's Moon Man. He takes that mask off, and it's just Moon Man underneath. He keeps trying to get you to buy a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not talking about the other Moon Man. God damn it! If he, <laughs> this is a Christian for, channel, for legal reasons, we're referring to a different Moon Man. He's gonna get access to Monster Hunter. And he's gonna put an achievement to, for upskirting Rathalos. <laughs> Rathian. <laughs> I'm skirting Rathalos. All right, and so I guess we we'll just put. Do you want to put the the simp next? Yeah, to just put them together GF? and then put and then put uh, all Mother Narwa on S because that fight was great. I think that's fair. These two, yeah, these two are hanging out. I guess. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> but Narwa was definitely a surprise for me. Because I, I, I really just, it's fun. It's just a fun fight. Like the the abject changes to like how a monster in particular behaves. Like you would not expect the fucking uh near tomato donuts and balls like platform from a monster and platforming elements and Yeah. It's real cool like things. That. Ibushi and Nara are the only monsters that are actively trying to destroy everything. Yeah. They're, they're technically like the only monsters that you could 
argue have like a character because they t- straight up talk, kind of. Well, telekinesis, but yeah, yeah. It's it, that makes it almost that makes it feel a lot more real because it's like that thing, it, it understood somewhat of language. I think you meant telepathy. Still, whatever. Never. Shut up. I like smell empathy. And yeah, all mother is is a real is a real hooting hollering. There was a lot during that fight I was not <laughs> expecting. <laughs> That's why I wanted to record it because I saw this and I was like, oh yeah. You ruin oh, our oh, experience yeah. so oh, we can here. have a pure one. Yeah. Because <laughs> like. There was also a situation where I was like, oh, wow, immediately just doing that. Well, I'm just going to do that. You're not stopping me. It's sort of like one of those playthroughs where one guy's super experienced with the <laughs> game and he's just showing his friend how cool it is. You mean the best playthroughs? Those are the best playthroughs ever. Partially because you then get you don't get those moments where both people don't know what to do. Yeah, you're always seeing progress. Because if someone's really stuck, they just say... Go over there. They just say, huh? <laughs> what? Now here Plus the more experienced guy gets to sit back Think and something laugh bugged and IRS mechanics. <laughs> here. I'll be right back. Something, Rocky's gotta something. go outside. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this opportunity to go to the bathroom myself. Okay, we'll I'm gonna, see. We'll see. I'm gonna do. take I'm gonna take myself outside. <laughs> All right, with that, we're going to cut back. Okay, cut back with the uh, that. Yeah. All right, so the last bit we'll do is the apexes. Um, the, the, yeah. Which, I mean, the, the big negative with them is no armor and weapons, which is, you know, a bummer. Yeah. I'll say they're definitely a vast improvement over the original apexes. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's just Well, that's more of a mistranslation. Yeah. You can't really say... They're like, they're much more associated with deviants, where they're very clearly taken directly from that. They're they're deviants, but they aren't. Yeah. They. There's definitely a few I can think of that's a good example of that. They're, they're kind of like watered down deviants, but watered down deviants is still better than the majority of other monster variations that they do. Because I mean, the deviants in this what or the apexes, Christ. Uh, the the apexes in this game so far just seem to be the most basic ones that they had available. Um, because I mean, there's not too many differences between these and their originals compared to like, I don't know what was it, Deviant. I would say these ones are they picked some of the bigger ones. Did they? Well, maybe not. I, say... May, oh, I, I was say... thinking the most dramatic one here was like Mizutsune. Yeah, I was Mizu... just thinking Mizutsune is probably like. I wish the Apex was more like this year. Uh, I'll say, well, here, we'll, we'll kind of go in order, but I'll say Mizu and Thunderlord are really, really different. Here. In term, because in terms yeah. of Arzuros here, he does have a pretty good, like, a number of new things that are taken directly from Red Helm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he dabbed. He was, yeah. He, he was a good introduction into the Apexes. His initial rampage, where you don't even know what the heck's going on, is pretty great. Yeah. First time ever getting carded. Yeah. When he's just going nuts. Oh, yeah. He do the unga and the bunga. Um, here, let's actually put these in the order that they were released. Just to, to get that underway. Uh, and then this is just Dread Queen. Yeah. It was literally just Dread Queen. The thing Minus, is, of course, the, the AIDS. The, it has the AIDS. The thing is... Oh, that, wow. Dread Queen doesn't have her armor in this game, so she's automatically worse. Yeah, so I think that one just goes in like the same tier. Because the Dread Queen armor is so it's cool. So good. I'm I'm severely hoping that you know they do maybe an event quest they, with like a super super each one of these, and you get just the the previous the set. armor. Yeah, J- just like a G rank event quest for each one. Yeah, even if it is in in when the G rank comes out, but at some point, I really hope that they just give you the Deviant armor set for fighting these guys. Because they're not hiding it at this point. They're not no. hiding that they're somewhat just the the um, the deviants again. Uh, although I will say, Sol- the, this one is very different than Soul Seer. 
I honestly wish it was more like Soul Seer because I enjoyed Soul Seer. I really the thing is, it's interesting. I might like Apex more than Soul Seer though. Because what does Soul like... Seer? Well, what does what does the Apex do differently from Soul Seer? Does it not have like it doesn't have it the doesn't blind have the whole mechanic. blind mechanic? And it oh yeah, because that that actively screws over anyone who's using bubbling. Yeah. And it has, I thought that was funny. It has a pretty good number of different moves. Uh, like, it, all of its like, bubbles that now do Hellfire are, like, shooting all over the place now. Like, every move has, like, a lot of them. Um, and it's it got, really is a Yoko Taro boss fight. <laughs> a little bit. And it's got its whole crazy new shoot its um, stream all over the place move. To me, uh, seeing this in the, the Frost Islands at night is s tier though just from the color scheme with it the same thing i'd say with any deviant i feel like if they do put, bring like the arm the soul seer armor back i would like it more yeah i mean then it would then it's like you know soul seer's got good weapons too so i really hope they just bring all that stuff back for them <laughs> yeah uh but I, I mean the neon pigment is gonna be the best part of that yeah Especially having to re-earn that, too. Yeah, I, I hope those come back, too. There's, there's a lot of those things where it's like, man, I hope Generations Ultimate had a lot of content. I hope they're able to bring some of that back. Like the barrel. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag bring back alchemy style. No other style, just alchemy. I mean, that's the one that had, like, the greatest amount of change to game state. Some, I feel like it had the most potential. And in terms of like deviants, like deviants themselves that did stuff, Bloodbath changed a lot of things. I can't really remember. I don't think I hunted it too much. Because Bloodbath had like full on like, once you enter this point, you've got it like, it is like in permanent rage and it gets a different theme and a whole bunch of new attacks. I would definitely say that Apex Diabolus is like... I don't think you guys have fought Apex Diabolus at all. No, I haven't, actually. He's, we all fought it once. He's essentially, like, very much diet um, bloodbath. Because he has, like, a permanent enrage at the end, but he doesn't have quite the same moves. And they don't look quite as good. So it feels like he's, like, on the cusp. He's on the cusp of being the guts of Monster Hunter, but he's not quite there. I'd probably put him D. I Lower thought a. Soul Seer Mizutsune would be the guts of Monster Hunter. Ah, uh, well, he only got one eye. I forget if except Soul Seer doesn't have any eyes. Yeah, he, does, yeah, yeah, he, he gets the one glowy eye. The yeah. Bloodbath lore because is literally that he was torn to pieces, and his internal anger just makes him overload. Oh. All right, then. Berserker Diablos. I think you get Berserk by fighting as a title by fighting 30 Diablos, so. Oh, yeah. Um, then Apex Rathalos, I, he's got the big explosions. <laughs> I do like his big explosions. Oh, God, I hate him. <laughs> Ironically, like... in terms of a fight, just like regular Rathalos, he's kind of. In terms of fight, he's kind of better uh, Dread King. Like, I fought like I fought him, just like, I did the actual like quest to fight him, no rampage. And I actually enjoyed his fight. Mm -hmm. We did fight one, but I wasn't really involved in that fight, like, at all. It was just like, yeah, bro. Like, he's there, now he's over there, now he's over there. You it's like, I just, just want to fight you, you bitch. Step running away from me. <laughs> he's either he's either A or S though. So I'm gonna say A. All right. If anything I'd say like put him like right right around Rathlos. Yeah, let's, let's have him snuggle. There you go. It's totally not gay. <laughs> it's with your future self. I don't think it can be. Now I guess I guess he's automatically up here. Because he is a really cool version of Zenogre IMO. The the golden eye glow is like, Mwah. yeah, Mwah. 
his design I can't complain too much about. Like, like okay. compared to like Blo- Soul Seer, I like the I like the apex of Zenogre. I definitely yeah. Like I was never huge on Thunderlord, but Apex Zenogre I like a lot more. Maybe it's because they gave him a little dash of like Stygian stuff in there. Yeah, where the fuck is uh, Stygian Zenogre Capcom? Um, he's like, we're not uh, I, cringe. I would like that a lot, though. Like, but we're not adding social. Just, just add that one. You don't need the rest. I mean, hey, Crimson Glow Valstrax is a thing. Yeah, but that's a variant. So, so Stygian. No, Stygian's a subspecies. That matters. Yeah, trust close me. Enough. Close enough. <laughs> the autistic classification <laughs> system of Monster Hunter. It, it doesn't matter. It, just just seen... put in the ones that are cool, just damn put it. The cool ones in. <laughs> Bring back all the cool ones. So, AK, put in everything. <laughs> yeah. When s- the motherfucking kitchen sink. Get so- I want Sakurai to finish Smash and just work on a monster and just put everything in it. Sakurai and Yoko Taro should do the writing for the next Monster Hunter. No. <laughs> Have you read that interview? Not yet. I haven't seen the whole thing. He says, I've seen bits and pieces. He says at the ending, you gotta choose which one of the twins to murder and turn into a weapon. And that's the only <laughs> thing that can kill the final boss. That's awesome. And then after you beat the game, all the monsters and all the people leave and you can't play it anymore. I love that. He's such a lunatic. Sounds like a no. Lunatic. You can only do. No, he said you could only do multiplayer. Oh yeah, it becomes multiplayer only. <laughs> Which is the worst idea. <laughs> He's really funny. He is. All right, so this is the definitive tier list. Bouncing on up to there. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he was down in B. Because he was balling, but then he bounced right back up. <laughs> I almost feel like he should have been like bouncing around the tier list we every once in a while. It's a missed opportunity, man. We'll we'll get it. We'll get it next time. Yeah. We'll just put it in post. <laughs> We're doing it live. This is the definitive tier list. Uh, this is one hundred percent objective fact. And if you if you disagree, that just means you have a small cone head. That means you're wrong. Uh, we're the experts. You're not. Uh, we're better at the game than you. We're better people than you. We're smarter than you. We're cooler than you. We're, we're cooler. Although we're smarter. We smell uh, better. Um, unless you like, yep. comment, and subscribe, then then you're better than all of us. Then you're on your way. <laughs> I'd say the only thing, I don't like that it's called not Great Jaggy, because that implies Great Jaggy is down that low. Well, no, it's, it means that since he's not Great Jaggy, he goes there. So does that mean everyone else is Great Jaggy? Here, let me... You said no tier, no more tiers, but... There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's waiting for him. <laughs> when he returns. My to king, this is your throne. <laughs> Put him right there!